Hi guys, I'm standing here in our 16 foot cargo trailer that we converted to a camper. It took us exactly four weeks to get it done and I'm going to show you a quick time lapse video of how we did it. Once I had the walls stripped down, I noticed that there were some holes where the floors meet the walls. So I just used some sheet metal and caulk to fix those holes. One thing to keep in mind is that these trailer manufacturers, they build these cargo trailers for hauling cargo, not for living in. So you're going to have to do some caulking and sealing and insulating to make it livable. Although the underside of the trailer has a waterproof coating on it, I decided to seal the interior of the floor as well. Once we finished insulating the floor, we covered it with this half inch wafer board and then we put down this laminate flooring only on the parts of the floor that would be visible. Next we insulated the walls and we ran our electrical line on the outer wall. One of the biggest challenges we had was installing the beadboard because we had to install it on these steel um, studs that were on the outer walls and we didn't want any screw holes to show in the beadboard so we ended up, we did put screw holes at the very top and at the very bottom that would be covered by trim and then we had to use Gorilla Glue to glue the beadboard to these steel studs and as you can see here we had to use these braces to hold it in place to allow the Gorilla Glue to dry. But overall, it worked really well. Here we had to make sure our studs were in the right place to be able to mount our television and to be able to create the hole for the DVD player and the PlayStation. And here in the back you can see where we're starting to separate off the main living area from the kitchen area.
At this point, we were three weeks into the build and we only had one week left before our big road trip. So in that final week, in the, in the rush and us pushing to try to get everything done, I simply forgot to shoot any more video. But all we had to do in that final week was put up a lot of the trim, uh, put in the bed, some shelving appliances, things like that, nothing overly complicated uh, that you can't figure out. So I'll just show you some photos of what the final product looked like.